Greetings guys and welcome to another episode of The Breakdown with your boy DJ RSC. And on today's episode, I'm going to show you how I actually come up with these saxophones sometimes, you know, without using samples or anything. This is what I do to actually come up with some amazing saxophones. Yeah, I'll show you what I do. Firstly, I load contact player, right? And then what I do, I use session horns. And I can use any of these alto, whatever, any of these. And then I make sure that I humanize it here a little bit. So now I just need a new pattern. Great, this pattern it is. So for me, I don't have session artists to come and play this. <laughs> That sounds great, you know, and it's very hard to actually play here, you know. So let's get here. It's actually hard to play this. For me, I can't play this here and then. So now what I do is, I firstly listen, I firstly put in the chords like these. So I'll play chords like this, and then I will have melodies in my head. Just I cannot play them with my fingers. So, but I can do them with my mouth. So I'll do this. I know I also can't sing, but at least I know how to stay in key, you know. So that's what I do. Then I'll record myself. So when I record myself, make sure that I put some auto tune into my voice. And so I can stay in key mostly. And then on this song, I actually recorded myself. This is the thing that I took to record myself. So I had these. So I did that. I don't like how I sound right now. So I'm just gonna put this guy very somewhere. You know, I don't know, 40, whatever, you know. And then I'm just going to put some reverb into my voice so that you can hear it better now. And you can hear, I sound a little bit bad, you know. But one thing that I know for sure is that I'm on the key. So now, what I do is, I select uh, session horns, right? I, I select session horns, and I can put it here, let's just say. And then, I'm going to do this edit sample on the vocal that I did. So now, I'll just come here to this banner. And I'll say convert score and dump to piano row. What FL Studio is going to do is convert this voice into MIDI. And then, that's where I get it. That's where you get it, my guy. Now, I don't have to play my voice anymore. Now, I can play this. <laughs> So for me, I felt like, okay, this is an octave down. So I went in and actually control up arrow and I wanted it to have to be an octave high. So that's what, this is how it sounded. So gradually I will look for parts which are kind of off key onto this. Hence I use this helper here so i know it's on e minor so i probably just changed that it shouldn't be on the dark notes if i find anything on the dark notes i just switch it and it's not a lot of those because i know i sing on the key you know so i'm just gonna do that and then just look 
there could be more you know we're just gonna whether up or down it's okay you know as long as it's on key for now and then i can actually play this Can you hear that? It sounds amazing. So sometimes it's all you can actually uh, make your music with your mouth and actually come up with some hit songs. And then before you know it, you have something like that. So guys, if you like this video, please comment, like, and share. And I'll see you guys on my next tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in.